I'm Dorothy Dillingham Blue, and welcome to Blake's Tips and Tricks, where Earthbox inventor Blake Wisnett will answer all your questions about vegetables, gardening, and the Earthbox. How you doing there, Blake? Doing fine. Looking forward to the program. Sounds good. Well, Kathy from Jasper, Wyoming emailed us saying, I planted some beautiful eggplant, tomatoes, and peppers in my Earthbox. My brother tells me I should be cutting them back. What does that mean? How should I? Should I? <laughs> Well, I could say you could trim or cut back eggplant and pepper, okay. but not a tomato. We'll talk about that a little different. You could keep eggplant and pepper for two or three years by cutting them back and refertilizing them. You never cut them back but about one-third of the length of the bush. I do that in Florida all the time, cut back my eggplant and my pepper, and I keep them two or three years. Now, tomatoes are a little bit different. We don't cut back or trim tomatoes. We prune tomatoes. Let me show you what I mean by that. Reach down here. Let's pretend this is a real bush right here growing. This would be a sucker here, and a sucker here, and a sucker right here. And see this big sucker right here underneath the first hand of tomatoes mm -hmm. right here? That's what we call the fork. And on the indeterminate type tomatoes that grow real tall, we prune everything below the fork. Just break off the little sucker like I break this one off right here, you see? Mm -hmm. But I don't break this one off at all. And then this tomato will grow like that. This is your fork. On now on a determinate tomato type is short and squatty. I don't prune very much at all. Okay. It's what we call a bush tomato. <laughs> so you can trim your eggplant, trim your, your pepper, but let's just prune our tomatoes. All right. Sounds good. Well, there you go, Kathy. If you have any more questions, you can email us at askblake at earthbox.com. Till then, happy planting. <laughs>